According to the Greeks, before there was universe, chaos existed. Together with night and Erebus came forth daylight, which brought Gia to existence. I am the steadfast base of all things. I am the solid ground. Earth is my Abu. I am Gia. Gia embodies the earth and everything above her is in her control. Together with the heavens, you reigns. I am the starry heaven equal to the power of earth. I am the blue vault on high. I am They created the world and the tyrants. From the Titan Cronus and Rhea, the six principal gods were born. Zeus, Hades, Poseidon, Hera, Hestia, and Demeter. From the principal gods, the Olympians were born. Ares, Apollo, Hermes, Aphrodite, Artemis, and Athena. The twelve great Olympians were supreme among the gods who succeeded to the Titans, and together they make up a divine family. Zeus. I am the supreme ruler. The sky is my domain and I have the power over lightning. I am Zeus. The most powerful god. His power is greater than that of all the other divinities together. He is represented as falling in love with one woman after another and descending to all manner of tricks to hide his infidelity from his wife. Hero. Women, they should all be lectured about what a family is. I am the goddess of marriage. I am Hero. Zeus' wife and sister. She is the protector of marriage and married women. She is often depicted punishing women whom Zeus fell in love with. It made no difference to hear how reluctant any of them were, or how innocent the goddess treated them all alike. Her implacable anger followed them and their children too. Poseidon is the ruler of the sea. All bodies of water belong to me. I shake the earth with such force. I am the god of waters. I am Poseidon. He had a splendid palace beneath him. He also gave the first horse to man. He was also called the earth shaker and was always shown carrying a trident. Hades. I rule over the dead. I am fear itself. Everything under the earth belongs to me. I am Hades. The ruler of the underworld. He controls wealth and the hidden treasures in the earth. He had a far famed cap or helmet which made whoever were become invisible. He is unpitying, inexorable, but just. He is a terrible but not an evil god. Together with his wife, Persephone, they rule the underworld. War is strength. No one can win unless one uses brute strength and force. I am the god of war. I am Ares. The god of war. He is murderous, bloodstained, and the incarnate curse of mortals. Together with Athena, they represent the two faces of war. Ares represents fear and strength. The Greeks also have the virgin goddesses, Athena, Hestia, and Artemis. Athena is the goddess of war and wisdom. Wisdom is everything. Strength is useless without thinking. I am the goddess of war and wisdom. I am Athena. She sprang from the head of Zeus. She carries the breastplate of Zeus, the Aegis. Together with Ares, they represent the two phases of war. Athena represents wisdom and war tactics.
Artemis, the goddess of hunt and wild. I represent the beauty of the wild, a maiden engaged in the hunt. I am the moon goddess. I am Artemis. She is the maiden goddess and the patron of the maidens. She represents the moon while his twin brother Apollo represents the sun. Being fond of chasing the wild and chief hunters of the gods, she is fierce and revengeful. Hestia has no distinct personality, but plays an important role in the sacrifices given to the gods. Every meal began and ended with her. I am the symbol of whom I am the goddess of the heart. I am Hestia. Apollo, the sun god. Of all the gods, I am the most Greek. Poetry, music, medicine, truth, and prophecy. I embody them all. I am the Lycan. I am Apollo. He is the multifaceted god. He is the god of prophecy and the master musician of the gods. He represents healing and truth. Apollo symbolizes the sun and its properties like his twin sister, Artemis. Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty and love. The wise becomes fool and the mighty becomes weak in my presence. I am the fairest of them all. I am the goddess of love and beauty. I am Aphrodite. She is considered the fairest goddess among the Olympians and the lesser deities. Her domain is the strongest and influential love. She is irresistible goddess who stole even the wings of the wise. Hermes, the messenger of the gods. They call me the great messenger. I am the shrewdest and the most cunning of all gods. I am Hermes. Of all the gods, he was the shrewdest and most cunning. He is the master thief and the guide of the dead to the underworld. However, the Olympians were not alone. The world was also inhabited by the minor deities. Demeter, though a principal god, was very different from them. The mortals call me the kind goddess. I am man's best companion. I am the goddess of harvest and fertility. I am Demeter. She was called the kind goddess, for she always blessed the fields with corns and crops. Persephone, the daughter of Demeter and Zeus. I bring color to the earth with my essence. My beauty is comparable to the love fields of the world. I am the goddess of flowers. I am Persephone. She caught the attention of Hades, who fell in love with her. Hades kidnapped Persephone by enticing her with the Narcissus flower. Days and nights, months and years, Demeter looked for her daughter, Zeus' word bid Hades to bring back Persephone. But all the while, Persephone realized that every beauty must come down to death in the end. And so together with Hades, they ruled the underworld. The world was also created in harmony and balance. The city's destiny depended on the two goddesses, Tyche or Fortuna. For a mortal to succeed, Luck should be on his side. I am the goddess of good fortune. I am Taiki. Was the goddess who believed that man's success is from good fortune and luck. The kind goddess granted the seed and its dawn with great fortune. Nemesis. Foolish mortals, success should not come from luck but sacrifice. I am the goddess of revenge. The balance of fortune. I am Nemesis. The just balancer of fortune's chance. 
is the counterpart of diet and believe that a man's success can be attained through hardship and sacrifice. There are also young goddesses who roam there. Kiyomi, the daughter of the North Wind warriors. I shower the earth with my beauty and grace. Winter is the manifestation of my power. I am the goddess of snow. I am Kiyomi. The young playful goddess likes to scatter snow all over different places to make fun of people. He. I exude perfectly. I am the copier of the gods, the goddesses, and you. I am He. The everlasting aura of you embodies her. She is the copier to the gods and the wife of Hercules. But not all goddesses are good. There are those who dwell in the darker aspect of the world. Nix embodies the night and the dark parts of the world. I am the night itself. My beauty is splendor seen in the darkest of nights. I am Nix. She contains exceptional power and beauty. She is found in the dark shadows of the world and can be seen in the face. Hecate, the goddess associated to the dark of the moon and all the dark deeds. The witches and sorcerers adore me and desire my blessing. I am the goddess of witchcraft and crossways. I am Hecate. She created the witchcraft and the patron of witches and sorcerers. Nix, Hecate, Hades, and Persephone. Together, they are the deeds of the underworld. Dangerous women can also be seen in their life, witches and sorceresses. There were two famous women who practiced witchcraft. Medea, the lover of the argument of Jason. Jason was wrong when he left me. My beauty brings deception and power. I am Medea. Medea is a well-known sorceress who killed her family and brother for the love of Jason. However, in the end, Jason left her and swore revenge. The other, the most powerful and beautiful witch ever existed, Circe. Men are easily enticed with my beauty. They approach me only to find out that they are no longer mortals. I am the most beautiful and powerful witch. I am Sarsi. Every man who approached her turned into a beast. Not only gods, goddesses, and witches existed in their stories, mortals also existed and added color to their names. Atalanta was one of the four greatest heroes who existed before the Trojan War. Women should never be underestimated. We can be equal with men, even in terms of strength. I am Atalanta. She grew as a strong woman. It was she who dominated in the hunt and in the forest. No man was able to defeat her strength and abilities. Another was Hippolyta. She ruled over the fierce and strong women of the Amazons. I represent the strength of women. I am the queen of the Amazon. I am Hippolyta. The queen of power and strength. Notable maidens also made impact and contributed to shaping of their course. Psyche, the most beautiful mortal ever existed. I achieve the beauty no mortals can possess. I am the epitome of mortal fairness. I am Psyche. So beautiful that even the goddess of beauty herself, Aphrodite, was overpowered. 
Finally, the gift of all, the mother of the female race, and the bringer of misfortune to men. Pandora. I gave birth to the woman race, the beautiful evil, and the gift of all. I am Pandora. This is to say that the world of Greek gods and goddesses is truly mystical. Each story signified culture and beginnings. Each of the gods, goddesses, witches, heroes, and mortals played an important role in creating the most famous myth ever existed. This is the majesty of Greek mythology. No muzzle, hey? Bado, sit, bado, guzzle. I'm a bad bitch, no muzzle. 